This peptide might save your mitochondria from dying. So what is SS31? It is a mitochondrial targeted peptide that's becoming really big in the biohacking space and also the athletic space. And for good reason. What SS31 does is it targets the cardiolipin membranes in your mitochondria. I think of those as the um, foundational structures of the power plants in your cell. We talked about how MOTC rebuilds those power plants. This is basically stabilizing those structures. Within your mitochondria, you have these little folds. They're called criste, and that's where the ATP or energy is generated. When you're under a lot of chronic stress or you're training and you have lots of CNS fatigue, those structures crumble and break down. You get cytochrome C leakage, you get oxidative stress buildup, and the mitochondria will actually die faster. So what SS31 does is it stabilizes those structures so that they're strong and that the mitochondria live longer and they generate more ATP. So who should be thinking about taking SS31? Well, if you are someone who's training a lot and you're getting a lot of CNS fatigue, you would be a candidate. If you're someone that just came out of prep and you have like a lot of post-contest low HRV or maybe your VO2 max is low, this will definitely help with that. Um, if you had long COVID, it's actually showing in the research promise with that. Additionally, if you're on statins, it is showing some promising results there, um, dealing with mitochondrial toxicity or myopathy. This is being studied as a potential measure um, or replacement almost for statins. Additionally, if you're just an elite performer or someone who's like into biohacking and anti-aging, mitochondrial health is kind of the way to start. SS31 is the one that I would actually start with before MOTC and before SLU. That would kind of be the progression is stabilizing those structures in your mitochondria and then moving on to the biogenesis with the MOTC and then, and then with the SLU. So when you take SS31, you're probably gonna see your HRV increase within five to 10 days of taking it. Your resting heart rate should also lower. Your VO2 max output should be going up. And when you train, the onset of your lactic acid shouldn't be as strong. And then when you recover, it should clear more quickly. You also might notice that your sleep will improve because a lot of that mitochondrial repair happens while you sleep. So if you wanted to stack it, you might consider MOTC uh, for the AMPK activation. You also might consider NAD plus because it does have really good cognitive benefits and those are very synergistic. Methylene blue supports the electron transport chain. So that's also a really nice synergy there. And then um, a little bit of low dose CoQ10 or even PQQ can help as a, uh, a safe addition for energy metabolism without overdoing it. So what SS31 is not, it is not a stimulant, it is not going to give you like a big high like caffeine. Um, it's really cellular protection at that mitochondrial level, making those structural folds stronger so you can produce good energy. So don't let yourself die. Save this, share this with someone you know who's fatigued or might find interest in this. If you need information on other peptides, I do have a peptide guide. Just DM me the word guide and I'll send it over to you.